Andre. So after a series of meetings, the committee has picked their recommendation for the boundary map. Now, parents tell me they're not quite happy with this whole process and how it panned out, but at the end, they are satisfied with the outcome. A or E. A or E. Wednesday night, families turned out at Parkville High School. I just want things to be to make more sense and be more fair. The Baltimore County Public School District is mapping out new central and northeast middle school boundaries starting with the 2024 to 2025 school year. This was the final committee meeting to determine which of several maps under consideration should be recommended to the Board of Education for approval. I think the original maps that came up with just tended to be very small changes to kind of move relatively small number of children to go and get the right results um, to kind of you know relieve the overcrowding but not be crazy and then they kept on coming up with more and more maps that tended to be more dis you know, disruptive the map will establish attendance for the new northeast area middle school now under construction and provide capacity relief for other schools impacted by the new boundaries Survey results show a majority of parents were leaning toward option A, but Wednesday, a fifth map drafted from those survey results and public feedback became the new favorite. Option E appeared magically this evening. We assembled around 5 o'clock and they came out and got us and said there's a new map that we think you might be happy with. Though some parents shared different opinions. What we see in Baltimore County Public Schools a lot is that a lot of the schools are very segregated economically and that often ends up being uh, segregated in other ways as well. Option D does a lot to fix that. Ultimately, the group settled on option E. Parents now hope to see that map be adopted by the Board of Education. My biggest concerns are that the community will have taken all of this time to provide input and feedback, to respond to surveys, to show up at forums, to put comments into the Facebook groups, and that that feedback won't be considered or put into place when it comes to the final decision. Tonight's recommendation that they decided on will now go to the board. They'll have a few meetings and their final vote will be in June. Live at Parkville High School, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL-TV 11 News.